Hi, I'm Jonathan M0JSX. Thanks for joining me today. And a little while ago, I was asked about sort of my thoughts on antennas for an HOA development, um, which we don't really have here in the UK, but uh, possibly more of a stealthy type setup. And I've thought about it over Christmas and uh, I've got some ideas. So the first thing we need to this address, the elephant in the room, is that a compromised antenna system such as this is going to be is never going to be as good as a sort of full-size dipole at proper height or, uh, or something you can put up more permanently. It's just not going to happen, I'm afraid to say. However, that doesn't mean to say that you can't get good results out of something that's very stealthy. Um, so let's hop over to the desk and um, nicking this sort of format from Callum. Um, we have uh, a bit of paper. So, so the first idea is is an antenna that you put up when you want to operate and then you take down. So, I mean, the obvious thing here would be a DX Commander, uh, D-Expedition probably, the Expedition model. Expedition. Um, the nice thing about that is, of course, is that it packs down to a very small size. Have I got mine handy? So it does pack down to a relatively small size on the desk. It's you know, it's it's not particularly long. Um, good for storing it, but you know, it does take a little while to put up. You know, you're probably looking about 15 minutes or so to put up, and of course, you need space for the radials as well. Uh, but if you've never come across what a DX command is, essentially, it is a it's a quarter wave vertical on each of the bands that you make it up on. So typically, uh, you'd put out a radial field. Uh, you'd put more than four radials out, but that's what I'm going to join, draw here. Then you put a pole up, and then at the side of the pole, held together with uh, some um, uh, some hardware, essentially, uh, you have uh, a, a, an element for 40 meters, an element for 20 meters, uh, an element for 15. Uh, and uh, maybe 10 meters as well, not drawn to scale, obviously. And <clears throat> that's the general principle of a DX Commander. So Expedition, probably a good choice. Obviously, it's going to be 10 meters when it's up in the air, but if you're prepared to take it down when you're finished, uh, then that's going to be pretty uh, appe appealing to most people. Um, another option, of course, is something a bit more compromised. A DX Commander, I have to say, is probably going to be the best thing you're going to do here but i understand that it is a bit of a oh, faff that's the wrong word but it's a bit time consuming to put up another option would be to go for something like the uh, super antenna or the slide wind or that kind of really small form factor antenna the idea of this is that you have a similar situation you put out some radials uh, and then instead of it just being a, a piece of wire coming up you have a coil and then a whip of some description, which is generally speaking quite short. Again, mileage may vary. Um, and then the way it works and the way you tune it is you have a little sort of either um, sliding section or a little jumper coil that you, you put on to tap it off at a particular point on the, the coil. And that's how it tunes. Um, the advantage of this is, of course, it's much shorter than a full size quarter wave. The disadvantage, of course, is that you're going to be losing some amount of RF energy in that coil. It can't be avoided, it's just going to happen. That doesn't mean to say it's not going to work, because it's going to work pretty well, uh, particularly on things like FT8. Uh, again, a bit of a faff if you want to sort of take it down and put it up, and particularly the tuning might be a bit of a problem here. Uh, another option on the same sort of thing is this, you'd have some kind of base here. Uh, it might be a spike in the ground, uh, it might be a tripod, so if I can make that a tripod, hey, look at that. Um, what you could do with that, because most of these have a 3 8 fitting on the bottom of them, uh, what you might be able to do is get yourself a uh, MFJD, or I can't remember the model number, uh, but Moonray could do one, which is uh, an MRQ213, uh, 213? MRQ213 uh, is so dumb because it's 213 inches long when it's out. Uh, and that you can tune to be a proper quarter wave on any bands 20 meters and up. So 20, 17, 15, 12, 10, even six meters, and I suppose four meters as well, you could get it to tune on as well. Um, that's nice, MFJ do a version of it, so do Buddy Stick, Buddy Pole, whoever they are, um, they do that as well. 
they're all the same. They were basically come out of the same factory, but uh, that's uh, a nice option as well. Of course, that's not going to get you onto 40 meters, so you could team that with one of the coils, but do bear in mind that the coil manufacturers are going to say what's recommended on top of it. Um, I know, for instance, that Super Antenna would not be happy with you putting that length of coil on it, uh, or that length of whip on the, the coil, sorry. Signed Winder might be a bit more happy. I don't know. You contact the, the, the manufacturer of the coil that you're looking at. Mileage may vary. And then there's the option that I have tested and tried over the last week or so, because this one potentially could be a permanent installation. So <clears throat> I'm going to draw a basic sort of profile of my garden. Let's see how we could do here. Right. So we've got a long fence down the bottom, a bit down the there. There's a there's a sort of a, uh, there's a, a gate there Then it comes up and that's then the side of the house. So roughly speaking, that's the shape of my garden. It's uh, uh, just shy of 10 meters down this leg here, um, which uh, is probably actually in about eight point something meters less. Let's call it nine meters. Um, and then it's down here, down here. So then, then this is this is house here. So my thought here was to run something on the fence. I've got a six foot fence on those three sides. And I thought, well, what I could do is run a, a length of wire along the top of the fence, along here and along here, and hopefully aim for something about 20 meters long. The measurement got, got a bit weird. So it actually ended up, the wire came down the side here, then it went down the bottom here, and it came up about halfway here. I think because when I put the wire on the wire, the fence was wet and that's having some kind of loading effect on the wire. So the wire has ended up quite a bit shorter than I was expecting. It's probably only about 15 or so meters. Uh, I'm feeding that with the ubiquitous 49 to one. Uh, and I'm getting a one-to-one -one match, one-to-one -one SWR on uh, 7.1 megahertz, which on paper looks quite good. Now, this antenna is six foot above the ground because it is at the top of the fence. So in terms of DX, it's not going to be very good at all. However, for uh, a bit of inter G, a bit of Envis working, if you're in the States, maybe sort of somewhere between sort of two and 500 miles, something like that radius. It works very well. Uh, I'm going to show on screen now. Uh, I ran for about 20 minutes earlier on today on uh, 40 meters FT8. Uh, this is a picture of where I was heard. So uh, you'll see that I could was being heard pretty much all over the UK, uh, as well as down into Spain, uh, up into Scandinavia, and um, even as far east as almost into Russia. I think that might just be Finland there, but um, quite a quite a distance. Um, now I was running uh, 25 watts uh, into a length of uh, RG8X, which I have to say was far too long, much longer than it needed to be. Um, so I'm going to guess that by the time the RF got to the antenna, it was probably somewhere in the region, I don't know, maybe 15 to 20 watts, something like that. Um, I would imagine. And then there's going to be a bit of loss in the um, uh, in the FT24043. Um, but it just goes to show that it does work um, and it's an option. So that's my idea for some HOA antennas um, and one that I've actually tested. I'll be interested to know uh, what your thoughts are. Have you tried anything like this uh, or what's your sort of HOA stealthy antenna? Uh, option of choice be really interested to know uh, as always thanks very much uh, for watching uh, if you've made it this far and you fancy supporting me there are some links down in the description below to do that uh, and if you haven't already done so please do click on that subscribe button as it really does help me out there's another video just coming up over here that the algorithm thinks that you might like next until next time 73 bye bye